perspectives model legislature for 32078 This is John McCrary, a senior at Ames High School, assigned by WOI-TV to cover the third Iowa House of Representatives model session as a registered member of the Student Press Corps. 100 Iowa high school students, sophomores, juniors, and seniors from all parts of the state have come to Des Moines to take the seats of the elected representatives from their areas for an experience in lawmaking. These students were selected after competition in their schools and in their districts. Each one of them is accompanied by a parent, a chaperone, or a teacher. Student newsman John McCrary explains what will be happening. Today, the students will choose their party leaders, meet in committees to discuss their bills, and a caucus to plan strategies. Tonight, there will be a banquet with Senator Dick Clark as the main speaker. Tomorrow, the model session will be held in the House chamber where student representatives will debate bills they have written. The model session is sponsored by the Iowa House of Representatives in cooperation with the Iowa Department of Public Instruction. The Speaker of the House will preside during the model session. The House staff, House bipartisan leadership, and House pages will be on hand to help make the experience an authentic one. Sharon Robinson, head of the House Public Information Office, welcomes students and explains plans for the afternoon and introduces Speaker of the House, Dale Cochran, who tells why the session is the being held. The idea was, was to give the people of Iowa an opportunity to see their legislature in action, to become acquainted with the legislative process, because we felt that if people understood, legislators, what they were attempting to do for their constituents, if they understood the legislative process and how it comes about, that people would work more closely with and be more cooperative, and would learn to understand it, and, and consequently could communicate and make their wishes known, and would then be better represented. And that's what this is really all about. We have set up this program of a model session. This is the third year now that we've done this for the young people over the state of Iowa and the 100 legislative districts, so that you might have an opportunity to see the legislature in action, so that you would be the motivators, that you would be the people that would actually be doing it. House Minority Leader, Greg Millen. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to have what has to be the cream of the crop here today. Because the selection process you went through, you are all very special people. After the welcoming remarks, the students caucus. Each person has been assigned to either the Blue Party, which is the majority party, with 55 members, or to the Orange Party, the minority party, with 45 members. The selection of leaders is the first order of business. After hearing campaign speeches from a number of candidates, the members of the Blue Party are ready to vote. The majority leader must know parliamentary procedure, be able to work effectively with the members of his party, and with the minority leader of the Orange Party, and with the Speaker of the House, but above all, to see that Blue Party bills are passed. They select Jeff Gilbert from Sioux City. He represents Woodbury County. Don't miss his acceptance speech. First of all, I want to thank you for having faith in me. and I'm really happy. OK. <laughs> now we're going to open this up for assistant majority leader. I, I take nominations. Meanwhile, the Orange Party has chosen Bob Hillman of Cedar Falls, the representative from Blackhawk County, as their minority leader. I ask him about the role of the minority party. I think within our session, the minority party is does not have that is not that small of a minority, and since the difference between the votes is not that great, I think that since we, if we can uh, get our party to all vote together, 
in one solid group and possibly change a few of the majority party votes, we can pass the legislation that we feel is very important. I think as minority party leader, I have to organize the party into voting as one solid group and getting our backing behind the legislation that we feel is very vital to our issues. After the party caucuses, time for the committees to meet. The job to decide which of the 100 students' bills should be debated during the model session. Here are some of the subjects discussed. I, really don't. I make the recommendation that uh, seat belts be required on new buses uh, as an amending that, that uh, wherein equipping old buses would take too much time. All right, so your bill would call for what? Putting stricter limits on the use of eminent domain by public utilities and private companies. This next one we consider as a minority bill is number uh, 62. Uh, this is the one. Are we, did we, we talked about this, didn't we? We're generally in favor of this. Okay, that's one we'll push. We'll push that one. So you can make a note of that. I think really by the time, primary time rolls around, everybody's leaning one way or the other in political parties anyway, so. Yeah, they might as well. Yeah. The people, it seems, and, and statistics that point out that the people who don't want to sign with the parties aren't the ones that are going to the polls anyway. They're just not, don't seem to be as politically motivated. So we're going to have to stand against that issue. No, you take it back to a retailer that handled Pepsi or Coke, okay. not necessarily the same one. See now, when you buy 7-Up, for example, in a returnable bottle, you pay a deposit at that store. You don't have to take it back to that same store. You can take it to another store. Okay, so you take it back to that store. And the bill is going to make the companies take them back so that the yes. stores won't just end up with That's right. a bunch of cans That's in right. their closet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. This, uh, this subsection does not apply to derivatives of marijuana, including, but not limited to hashish or hashish oil. Seeing as the point of this bill, as we have now uh, devised it, is to obtain only to marijuana, I'd say <coughs> that we should leave it in just to make it clear that we are not trying to limit anything but marijuana and let the present law stand on it. any other debate on this bill. Late in the afternoon, Chief Clerk of the House, David Ray, discusses procedures to be followed during tomorrow's session. One of the ways that the Iowa House uses to recognize who is going to speak is uh, the speaker watches for those who are interested in speaking, raising their microphones. Uh, you'll notice on the, on the desk, each desk, there is a microphone. The microphone has a capability of going up and down about two or three feet. Now, if you want to speak, what you need to do is raise your microphone. You do that by grasping the black plastic handle and raising it. And it'll go up and down if you grab that black plastic handle. If you don't, it will not go up and down. And if some of you are strong ex-football players or whatever, you can easily pull the whole process up. So please, use the black plastic handle when you lift your microphones. To the state capitol building and the house chamber, the model session will convene after this message.